Hey everybody! So we are checking in to Motel 6 in Gilroy, California. And we are here for a funeral, so it is a sad reason. But I'm going to do a review on the room. So if anybody comes to Gilroy and wants to stay at the Motel 6, they can see what kind of room they're going to get. If they get this one, which is just a queen size. And it's a lot smaller room than any one's we have gotten in them for a while, huh? So, this is our room. I can't get you on there, but it's really small. And there's the view outside is the uh, Hilton Motel. So when you come in the door, this is what the room looks like. It's pretty small considering. And the lights are, there's no lamps. They're just switches and they're kind of like sconces. And the TV is different. But, um, has a lot of, um, hookup things. Ooh, yum, yum, that's for later. And it's an LG, which is a good TV. And then you can hang your clothes right there. There's no closet, which is different. And then I guess this is for shoes. That's what we did. And this is the restroom. Kind of different. And the bathtub has a little seat in it and it's kind of a nice shape looks kind of nice and the sink is nice so um hi so yeah that's the room i'll let you know if we find anything else out that's cool so this is after we stayed at um, the Motel 6 in Gilroy. Come on, Motel 6. You need to do some improvements. Hopefully, somebody from Motel 6 Corporation is watching this video. Um, here, here are the things that happened to us. First of all, I think when I went to pick up the remote, I think the back of it was falling off, but it was an easy fix. Um, but still, you know, everything should be in working order. Um, second, the bed was so uncomfortable. It was hard and it was like, felt dirty. I don't know how to explain it, but the sheets were like soft, but in a bad way. Like, I don't know how to, how, how to explain that. But you know how when you go to a nice hotel or motel and the sheets are like crispy kind of crispy and soft and smell bleachy. I don't know how. I don't know. But there is a difference between crispy bleachy sheets and soft kind of not great smelling sheets. They only gave us two pillows, which I know that's not a big deal, but in a lot of places I've been to lately, there's usually like two pillows for each person and then maybe a couple little pillows. Maybe they people take the little ones. I don't know. So, um... But anyway, just two pillows, one per person. There was only one washcloth in the in the thing. The thing that held I showed you in the in the movie that held the the towels, one of the rings when we went to take the towel out, the ring fell out, the yellow ring. Kind of sad. Um this they only give you two little tiny tiny soaps. One for the tub and one for the sink. No shampoo, no conditioner, no lotion, no blow dryer, no coffee maker in your room, no iron. Um, thank God, because I didn't bring my blow dryer, they found one that I could borrow. And they also had an iron to borrow. So, you know, at least they did that. Um, the TV's really pretty small, considering the... The way rooms are these days, it was a pretty small TV. Um, 
And then, of course, not having a closet or, you know, I mean, have a place to hang your clothes, but it just kind of looks kind of tacky. You hang, clo you hang your clothes right, you know, in the, live in the, kind of in the room. I don't know. Just not, I, I think they were trying to be efficient the way they set the room up, but it, as far as designers go, designing, it was, it was kind of, kind of sad, but I, I guess an okay use of space because it was very small and, and it was dirty. Um, I found a half of a pill. I don't know what it was on the floor. And I also found like a little ring thing that went to something like, um, I don't know, some little metal ring thing. So, you know, that tells you that the maids aren't doing that great of a job. And then there was, uh, under this, in the, in the bathroom where you throw the garbage, there was like something splattered on the wall. It's kind of gross. And I noticed stuff like that. I don't know about you guys, but I noticed things like that. And the maids should notice stuff like that. If I notice it, the maids should be noticing it. So that, my... My review, they get a thumbs down. Sorry, Motel 6. It was $76, $85, I think, with the tax. And, um, you know, yeah, that's cheap, I guess, in today's world. But for $76, you should get at least, you know, some of the comforts of a... But I have a feeling that maybe their clientele, they get there, maybe they... They lose a lot of stuff, you know, maybe people take stuff. So that's why you don't get as much nice things as you do at a higher priced motel. They didn't have any books, you know, like that tells what to do in Gilroy. Like sometimes they'll leave like, they'll have like, um, even if it's like a pamphlet things that you can take with you, but sometimes they'll have like a nice book where you can look through at restaurants, you know, so you can call for pizzas and different things like that. They didn't have anything like that. Um... So, yeah, I, I don't know. I just will never stay there again. And um, I'd pay an extra $30, $40 for a nicer place. Um, because I've heard that now afterwards, I heard that there's a nice place that's like 120 So i definitely pay that extra to have more um, creature comforts or whatever. But anyway, so that's my review on the Motel 6. Sorry, Motel 6. You need to do some improvements. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll talk to you later. Mwah.